Mason Clark. Flicked on by Pavey. And this is Effie Onk with Walker arriving in the middle. Did well there, Effie Onk, and he could have a very important role to play, couldn't he, the centre forward today for Barnett? Well, you just saw that little link up play there, the diagonal to Pavey, the flick on there to Effie Young, and then all of a sudden you saw Josh Walker in the middle making that run into the 18 yard box. It's a youth graduate at Barnet from Mason Clark who will take this. He's getting a good run in the side. He's started 12 games in a row now. There's his delivery in towards Pavey. Real quality player. Effionk, who again has got Walker and Mason Clark arriving in the middle. But it came off five field last, and it will be another corner here for Barnett. Well, it's just really important for the Boar and Wood defenders to really mark that second ball because Pavey's going to go up against Mingoya sometimes, and you are nine times out of ten going to win those flick ons. It's really helped five field and so many players like that get around. F. Young in that second ball area, not to get drawn towards it. It's Mason Clark's ball in it, went over the head of Reed, but cleared by Fifield, and then Champion was there for Boreham Woods. Mason Clark with the ball in. And it came out to be struck by Nugent, who couldn't get it anywhere near. Under his brother, his younger brother, Jack Taylor, go on to play in the Football League with Peterborough and having a good season as well. Jack Taylor, another one who... They nurtured at Barnet. Shimanga in behind here and a chance to shoot. And a good save that by Loach. She wasn't going to be beaten at his near post. That's a brilliant ball. It's a brilliant centre forward run as well, playing on the shoulders. Just look at this exquisite ball there from her to the outside of the boot. It's a tight angle from there. Loach makes the save. Moshley squeezes up. He can't afford to leave that space in behind net. Goyer in behind. As up it goes to Effionk. Mason Clark waiting in the middle and it's come to him. And then done hit one. Well watched by Ashmore. I think when that cross came, I think Alfie Pavey was the one looking for it to be left to him on his right foot. Done then coming in on his left foot there. I just thought Pavey maybe whipped that one with his right, but midfielder Dunn came in there greatly. At both ends of the pitch, and you look at the statistics, you look at their position in the table, he's not wrong. Reed Tedder and Shimanga scores for Boreham Woods. So reliable in front of goal, Kabongo Shimanga. And he took that very well indeed. Well, it's such a simple goal, but it's a frustrating goal for Barnett to concede. You get bodies in around Matt Reed, and you just got to mark the runners. Shamanga gambles every single time. Maybe Reed would be given fractionally offside there, off Ben and Williams. He would need to do be a lot stronger than that. It's a weak goal to concede. Just ducks out of it slightly there, with a little push on him. Shamanga's in the right place at the right time, and that's a big finish for him because he needed that finish in open play. He needed that goal to get himself off the mark this season. The season before last, here's Shimanga. Decides to go in alone. Good save, but it's dropped for Whiteley, and it's deflected. Warren Wood again looking a threat. It's Miles Judd in the end with the head up. It's a great movement for Shimanga there. Playing on the shoulders so well. I mean, the, the marking when the ball is in central areas, is so poor from Barnett so far. They are just squeezing up and leaving space in behind. They don't know who's behind them. Actually there twice now has tried to play offside, has no idea who's around him. Swinger from Mingoya, Reed was there, and it's just off the line. They're saying there was a handball. It was Judge on the line. He's insisting it came off his chest there, Judd. Now the referee here, Martin Woods, just 
giving himself a bit of thinking time, and I think he's going to go across to the assistant. Really big moment in the game, this, as we approach the half-hour mark. The Boreham Wood players insisting, Adam, that there was a hand used there by Judge. You can see what he's telling the referee. He reaches for his back pocket, and it's a red card on his Barnet debut for Miles Judd. And this just goes from bad to worse now for Barnet. He would not only a goal down, but now a man down as well. Well, my initial reaction was I just thought he dived and actually used his left arm in the end. I mean, he's claiming it hit his chest. But again, it's really causing the issues again. So he was when it hit his left arm. Reed winning the header there, heading the ball down. Clearly see it strikes the left arm. You can't have too many complaints about that. The chance for them to double their lead here. It's Shimanga who gets his second. And the goalkeeper gets the right way, but he was never going to keep that out from Shimanga. And Luke Garrard's side go 2 0 up in this local derby. Well, I'm a, never a massive fan of players with short run ups. When you've got a short run up and you strike it as well as this, doesn't really matter. Just confident there. Scott Lowe's just dived a little bit late to his left there. He was just waiting. Ben and Williams. Well, it's start to the season may have been poor, but Bournemouth would begin the campaign that well either as Shamanga goes through on a hat trick good save that by Loach really good stop that by Mingoya Whiteley look at the numbers getting forward here for Boreham Wood Whiteley couldn't beat Loach at his near post well if it wasn't for Scott Loach out of this score would be three or four he's made some excellent saves excellent goalkeepers since he's been signed from Hartlepool just counter-attacking at pace, a counter-attacking in fluidity. I just think, fortunately, the angles that the shots have come towards his goal, they've gone for that near post. A review today, Scott Loach, but there's no real reflection on him, I don't think, as he produces another good save. As you say, rather than him being responsible for all the goals that Barnett keep conceding, it, it would be a, a far worse picture this season, yeah. were it not for him. I mean, he was outstanding last season for them. I mean, this has got nothing to do with 10 men, with crosses coming into the box. Nugent struggled in the air on a couple of occasions now. And it goes again from Mingoya. A champion with the shots! And now it's the captain who gets in on the act to get Bournemouth's third inside 43 minutes at the Hive, and they are running away with this local derby, and no wonder he's smiling. Well, I said Ben Nugent struggled from crosses in an aerial battle, and again, it's just a poor weak header out from a simple cross to defend against, just ducks out the way of it, really, and heads it down there to champion. It's a tidy finish from him there, because it just bounces awkwardly in front of him, but it's a controlled finish from him. And Scott Loach, he's almost saved everything that's gone towards him, has absolutely no chance. Cross here towards Reed, just too high for him. Came off Nugent, and he dropped for Murta. Good block that by Mosny. And then Nugent was there again. Reed causing problems once more. Well, again, it's just poor defending from Ben Nugent. Puts the side into danger there. Re-challenge I think in the modern day game now, it's very difficult as a manager. They're sliding in there was the captain champion. You can hear the appeals from the Barnet players. I have to say on first sight, whilst it, it was a bit clumsy, he did seem to get a flush contact on the ball. Let's just see from this replay how much he gets of the man. The initial reaction was he got something just yet. Well, it, it wasn't flush, but he did no. get contact on it. No, still one of those, though, Adam, where we have seen players win the ball before and they go through the player afterwards and 
A free kick's been given. Reed with the cross. And cool first looking to stick his head on it. And Whiteley! Good save by Loach. That's a great, it's a great save because it's a brave save and it's excellent there from Corey Whiteley. But again, it's just such a poor defensive header here. It's an okay ball in there from Reed and Coolhurst keeps it alive. Sorry, it's a clearance there with the right foot there from Nugent. Mafuta. Oh, off the bar it went. Really did dip that. So close to a fourth. He's found a little bit of form in front of goal this season. That's Mafuta. I think it's only surprised Scott Loach there. Way to go in the season. And they've been beaten as well today. The goals surprised defeat to Yeovil, who scored in added time. <laughs> so five wins in a row for Boreham Wood and Luke Gerrard. The ideal start to 2021 for Boreham Wood. It's a brutal beginning to the new year for Tim Flowers and Barnett.